Okay guys, so if you know it's one thing that I'm not good at when it comes to hair, it is curling my own hair. Look at these beautiful curls and I definitely did not have to do any of it myself at all. So this one comes courtesy of Amanda Hair and this is the packaging. They did give us a couple goodies which you'll see in the video. But today I'm going to challenge myself because I don't have to curl the hair myself and it was just super easy to install. We're going to be seeing what looks better, a center part versus a side part. So this is what it looks like as a center part. Later in the video you'll see what it looks like as a side part. But I wanted to come in and share this look with you guys because I think the center part is going to be my absolute favorite so I wanted to film the intro in the center part but who knows because I haven't done the side part yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. It's going to be super simple easy and beginner friendly. I did add my go-to baby hair and I did do um you know a little bit of makeup for my lace tint so we didn't have to like plug tweeze and um, we also did not like bleach the knots or anything like that. This is going to be a super easy beginner friendly look and again it came with the curls already so that is a super duper bonus i'm so excited about that i'm kind of losing my voice so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial and you'll see in just a moment what it looks like as a side part you'll be able to rate and let me know which one is your favorite okay babies let's jump right into it this is the wig straight out of the box this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig and this is the look at the inside construction of the cap it does has these pieces here that you can use an adjustable elastic band in it is including the package and i'll show you those later on in the video this is a full frontal body wave wig in the length 20 inches and the body wave is definitely giving look how beautiful the hair was from the back i'm gonna go ahead and begin the install process by Cutting off the excess around the ears first. Once I got that, I kind of check it to make sure that everything fits perfectly around the ear and it hugs and kisses the ear flawlessly. From here, I'm going to just pull the baby hair back. That way we can cut off the excess lace without accidentally, you know, cutting into that baby hair. And I'm going to do both sides. And then from there, I kind of assess the wig and decided to just cut off a little bit of the lace. Now I'm doing this because I wanted it to sit at a specific point in my forehead. And this was going to help me to have it perfectly sit exactly as I want. So don't be afraid to cut into the lace if you want it to mimic your hairline that makes sense now i'm going to go ahead and bond the wig down i'm going with the bed head which i purchase i can purchase on amazon or target i'll have it in the description box and once i got to the side i decided to add or cut off a little bit more lace around the hairline again customize your lace wigs to fit and look good and match your head now that we have it bonded down i did do that third side off camera we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of baby hair and this is just going to open up the hairline it does get full when you have it straight back so typically if you're going to hear the wear the hair straight back you're going to have to tweeze it out a little bit more i'm going to just go ahead and do these little two swoops right here and i did kind of like do a pull method to kind of thin them out just a little bit not a lot honestly and then i went ahead and added a little bit of my bdac beauty edge control to to the base of these baby hairs and then I use the baby hair brush to kind of just smooth them and as you guys can see a lot of times I'll hold my finger um, at like the end of it so that I can swoop it and it'll swoop perfectly they came out absolutely beautiful and they definitely transformed this wig into my vision and literally brought my vision to life now as I mentioned this is a two in one we're doing the center part versus side part battle i wanted to start off with the center part because i kind of knew that the side part was going to be my favorite and how i was going to want to end the video um you guys have already seen the center part in the intro um and this is pretty much how i got it you take a rat tail comb you part the hair down the center and you get it as centered as you can i personally like to use my nose as a guide for the center and then you step it out with a dynamic duo which is the wax stick pair with the electric eye comb and then once you get it super flat and how you like it you go ahead and tint the lace i use a foundation it was a cream foundation in the parting as well as a powder along the hairline these both are from ruby kiss and i feel like they blend with my complexion really well whether i'm wearing makeup or not these always blend really really well with my skin and this is the look okay so this is what the wig looks like as a bust down center part I've decided I'm gonna try to challenge myself with my tutorials to give it a theme, like give it a hair to like a challenge of like how I wanna style the hair. Um, 
since this one came with a beautiful like style to the ends i honestly didn't feel the need to like do anything to the ends i feel like it's good to go if anything i can add a little bit of oil sheen which i'm actually not gonna do i'm kind of nervous i don't want to weigh it down but you guys can see it has a beautiful curl pattern that like i know that if i go in and try to touch it up or just add more definition i'm just gonna mess it up so i'm not even going to attempt this here is a dry oil I guess you could call it dry oil mist from OGX and this is the Argan Oil in Morocco. So I'm just going to add a little bit for a little bit of shine. Honestly, you don't even need this, but since it's a dry oil, I think it'll be okay. Okay, so she's an absolute beauty as a center part. I really love this, especially with the baby hair action. It's really, 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 really beautiful. And there's so much body in the hair. I think it's absolutely a dream. Now, I'm not even going to lie. Like, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I should have added that dry oil because it took away a little bit of the ump it had. But I want to challenge myself to see what it would look like as a side part. So let me take a picture, a few pictures of it like this, and then we're going to see what it would look like as a side part. But should I do this side or this side? I'm thinking this side would be better. Let's see. Okay, now we're going in with the side part, which is self-explanatory. Here, I'm just doing a kind of like a flip over since this is a 13 by 4 um you can go deeper with the parting except the tracks were right there so i can the, a good way to do it is kind of like to shift the wig to the sides if you wanted a deeper side part but in the end you'll see how i'm going to make this one work really nicely i stamped that out with a dynamic duo as well and then i took that same cream foundation that i used in the center part and into the side part and you can see how it makes the wig pop this is absolutely gorgeous Gorgeous. I can't tell which one is my favorite just yet. Okay, so we are finished with the look. I absolutely love it as a side part. I think the center part was my favorite. I almost want to um, shift the wig a little bit because the, the uh, tracks start about right here, so I can't go deeper. But I think I prefer it as a deeper side part. So even like now that I stamped that out, I would just pull more hair over from this side because I like when I have it like a side part and it's flipped to be like a lot of hair and super dramatic like this. So I like the fact that like it's stamped out, but I'm just going to take a little bit more hair over. And now it's my favorite. Side part is definitely better. So um, before I forget, this is the packaging as always. It's like this like blue tone gray color dust bag with the baby pink very 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 much a pastel vibe super pretty and then inside just simple and sweet you do get a melt belt that just says amanda hair on it also get the elastic band which remember i showed you guys it has the connectors for it and then you also get this little you know package which has a wig cap or a pack of wig caps in it and then just some little language about the company there and yeah that's about it awesome normal sugar 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 let me know what you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go this one does come from amanda hair be sure to check it out a direct link is in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches